Have you ever got really excited for a game to be released, only to be disappointed? It's even worse when that game has been delayed multiple times. Sure, we as gamers can understand that making games can take some time. Players don't mind a slight delay. What they do mind, though, is when the game is delayed, then releases only to be a massive disappointment. I'm Josh, and welcome to Hotfix Gaming. Today, we'll look at 10 that were overhyped, delayed, and didn't deliver. So, let's get started. Number 10. Atomic Heart Now, to be fair to Atomic Heart, it's a AAA game from a brand new studio, Mundfish, which appears to be punching well above its weight, at least if the game's marketing was any indication. Trailers sold it as a visually stunning FPS with a unique alt-history hook and some absolutely fantastic art direction. And while those things are all true for the game's opening, Atomic Heart's charms and superficial appeal quickly wear thin. From its obnoxious protagonist to its consistently edgy dialogue, messy story and dull mission objectives, Atomic Heart struggles to maintain interest over its 15-hour critical path. Though clearly liberally inspired by the Bioshock franchise, Atomic Heart ultimately lacks the finesse, charm and, yes, heart of that series. It's certainly not an awful game by any means, but a clumsy swing at a laudable, ambitious concept, making it one of 2023's biggest gaming letdowns. Number 9. Brink Trying to bank on the 2000s parkour craze, but also throw in shooter elements, Brink promised to be so much more than it ended up. Sure, it had a better level design, an extra layer of polish and some tweaks to the objective-slash-class system, which could have made it revolutionary. Honestly, Brink could have easily been a hit. But why haven't you heard of it? Well, reviewers just weren't sure what to make of this game. It wasn't really bad, but it wasn't great either. And that's a sure way of making sure a game quietly fades into obscurity. Number 8. Aliens Colonial Marines With Sega having acquired the license, they wanted to make a new scary Aliens title. So, production for what would later on become Aliens Colonial Marines started in early 2007. Gearbox initially started working on it, but shifted its focus towards the Borderlands franchise. This left the game to be outsourced to Timegate Studios. After many disagreements about the quality and its direction, and multiple delays, Sega eventually set a strict deadline with no further extensions for early 2013. Compared to other previous Alien games, this one felt unfinished and uninspiring, and had massive issues with enemy AI that didn't acknowledge the protagonist at all, or would remain stationary. All this was the fault of a typo in the game's coding, and now the game will go down in history as the most embarrassing game in the Alien franchise. On top of that, with the game looking very different than the demo, a lawsuit was launched against the company for misleading advertising. Number 7. Forspoken Forspoken was a game that didn't quite turn out as people thought it was going to be. When it released, critics praised its fluid movement and combat, but were baffled by its dialogue and lacklustre story. Worse yet, the sprawling fantasy world promised to gamers in the trailer ended up feeling rather empty and bland. Speaking of the world, players felt irritated that an allegedly open-world game was full of invisible barriers. Run too far in one direction, and you'd be hit with a warning to head back. And of course, there was the constant chit-chat between Frey and her magical cuff. Even though there was a way to turn off the optional dialogue, the tone of the conversations can feel overwrought and, at times, cringy. Number 6. Redfall It's without a shadow of a doubt that Redfall is the most startlingly poor AAA effort from a major studio in 2023. From the shoddy, gossamer-thin story told here through ugly storyboard-style cutscenes, to the charmless characters, repetitive missions, atrocious enemy AI, and an abundance of launch day bugs, it was painfully clear that Redfall was shoved out the door while it was still barely cooking. The fallout of its release was bad enough that Microsoft's Phil Spencer even apologised for the rough launch, and though Arkane promised to keep working on the game, updates have been sporadic at best. All of this disappointment after its release being delayed twice. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit the like button, as it helps our channel grow and bring you more gaming content. Number 5. Suicide Squad – Kill the Justice League it really should not have been surprising at all when Warner Bros. came out to say that Suicide Squad had fallen short of their expectations. As if the dangers and potential rewards of live surface games hadn't been highlighted enough by other similar games, 
We've now got another example of a game that was almost a decade in development and yet has been an immediate flop on release. Suicide Squad is, hopefully, the final warning to developers that superheroes and live service games simply don't go well together. Yes, we know that the Suicide Squad is formed out of villains, not superheroes, but you know what we mean by that. Number 4. Marvel's Avengers Speaking of live service games, we bring you one of the classics. Marvel's Avengers could have been a great game, but things began to go south before it even released. First, PlayStation announced that gamers playing on its systems would receive an exclusive character, Spider-Man. Of course, this infuriated folks left playing on other systems. Even though PlayStation fans ended up not enjoying their exclusive version of Spidey, this inequality in the game's rollout had some players suspicious before it even released. And when it eventually did release, after being delayed for about four months, Marvel's Avengers lost almost 96% of its player base in the first few months. Players believe that the game had uninspired mission design, game-breaking bugs, and a lack of support from developer Crystal Dynamics. Even with updates, Marvel's Avengers never really improved, meaning that fans weren't surprised when Crystal Dynamics announced the 2023 shutdown of the game. Number 3. Skull and Bones If other 2024 live service game releases, like Helldivers 2 and Instant Successes, that doesn't mean that all live service games can be. Skull and Bones is yet another example of such a game that flopped upon release. The worst part is that it took 10 years to make, went through the hands of three different creative directors, and was delayed multiple times. All that work for it to be unfavorably compared to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. What's worse is that some players have stated that they prefer Black Flag, even though the game is a decade old. Even without directly comparing it to Black Flag, other players have found Skull and Bones' offerings disappointing. For a game that was described by Ubisoft's CEO as quadruple-A game, and after spending a decade in development hell, it sure doesn't feel like it's hitting the mark. Number 2. Anthem A game that was way overhyped, being labelled as a destiny killer and a game to rival Mass Effect, it was a dud from day one, which is a sad sight to see after being hyped up so much. Anthem was supposed to be the next looter-shooter addiction that was unique with an intriguing storyline. Early trailers showed breathtaking environments with mech-suited characters soaring the skies like Iron Man. The combat looked like Mass Effect, and the promise of another original story from BioWare was just the cherry on top. Everyone expected the game to be amazing, but they were beyond wrong. Sadly, what was delivered was a repetitive, boring and tedious game instead. The game did not live up to the expectations, and is so far below other shooters like Destiny. Anthem provided lackluster endgame content and close to no rewards for all of its repetitive looting and gameplay. Number 1. The Day Before Fantastic announced this game back in January 2021, with a video that portrayed a much better looking game than what players received in December 2023. The development of this game included multiple delays, concerns about what was promised, and a trademark dispute that resulted in the game being taken off Steam, among other controversies like the alleged use of volunteer workers and AI-generated art. As soon as the game released in early access, it flopped. Four days after its launch, Fantastic made the shock announcement that it was closing down. The company removed the purchase button on the game's Steam page and wiped its presence from the internet. The decision to close the studio and effectively cut off future support for the game has been panned by the gaming audience, with the decision effectively affirming the belief in the eyes of many that the game was and is a scam. After severe backlash from the community, they came around and struck a deal with Steam to allow players to get refunded, regardless of time spent in-game. Do you think this game was a scam? What other games were delayed, overhyped, but didn't deliver? Let us know your top choices in the comments section below. And if you want more gaming content, be sure to check out our 10 iconic funny glitches video, and also the top 10 best looking games to play right now. Both videos are linked on screen.